All right, we are live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris. Um, I was originally going to be doing this video at 6 p.m. tonight, uh, but we have some results from the um, blood that came in. Uh, before I get into that, I just want to let anybody know, especially if you're new to this channel or never seen this video before or any of my videos, uh, this is different than what I normally do. Uh, I feel this is very important. You will learn a lot. This may be a long video, so all I could say is please watch this, and it really will prevent what we're going through with your dogs or cats or even other pets. Um, I only have cats, so I'm going to focus more on cats, but a lot of this can also help dogs and other animals. But the one thing I will say is I'm not going to get into extreme full details into things, but I'm going to give you a lot of basics, show you a lot of products and things. And um, I would highly recommend also doing your own research because this is stuff that you're not going to be told. And um, it's going to save the lives or extend the lives of your animals. So before I start getting into that, I want to give an update to those that have been watching my channel and know what's going on. Um, one of our cats, Luna, um, she's been diagnosed with heart disease um, they gave her medicines which started affecting her liver, and, um, also because of that she developed diabetes. We re recently, yesterday, had to take her to the vet again because she hasn't eaten in two days. We had to wait for the blood results, and it ends up she has, um, pancreatitis. Um, if left untreated, this is a fatal disease. So we have to bring her... To, we're, we just dropped her off at the vet. She's going to be there for two days. They're going to um, apply some medicines and put food. It's not an operation or anything like that. Um, it's something that may end up extending her life or it can end up there's nothing more that we can do. So we've literally done everything that we can to save her life. So I am starting a GoFundMe page. Um, because this hospital visit is going to be um, pretty darn expensive. Um, if you cannot add to it, I totally understand. Uh, even just sharing the link, which is in the description, and I will put it here live, um, it's going to be, even if you share it, it's helpful. But this video is going to basically, hopefully help you from never having to go through what we're experiencing because we got this cat, she literally walked into our lives four years ago, a winter storm, somebody abandoned her, she was starving to death, um, we had to get her teeth removed because they were all rotted, most of her teeth anyway were rotted, and I spent my days promising her that we'll fatten her up and get her back on track, if I only knew now, then what I know now, I would have done things differently. Um, the first thing I'm going to say, I've said it in my other video, but some of you may have never seen this video before. Um, and don't worry, if anybody can't help, trust me, this is not about that. If anybody can, that's great. If they could share it, that's awesome. If they can't, trust me, I totally understand. If it was not for my wife, I wouldn't be able to do this. So trust me, don't apologize, don't feel bad. This video is going to help you guys that have animals and may never have to go through this. Um, basically, the first thing I'm going to say is, if you have a dog or cat especially, throw away or donate your dry food. Get rid of it 100%. Um, you can learn from some vets online, but the vets will never tell you unless you ask, that, um... Dry food is not a natural food for animals. See, cats and dogs <clears throat> are like humans. They can eat a bunch of junk food and be alive. But like in humans, if we ate bonbons and candy bars for the beginning decades of our life, we're going to live, but we're going to have a lot of medical problems down the line. It's the same thing with animals. Dry cat food, dry dog food does not have the nutrients it needs for cats to survive healthy. It's full of carbohydrates. Now, my wife being a vegan and me being a vegetarian, we understand that animals, you know, it's a fine line, but if you own a dog or a cat, 
These are meat eaters. They survive in the wild by eating natural meat, attacking live animals. Now, obviously, I don't recommend feeding live animals to your dog or cat. That's kind of cruel. But giving the right foods are very important. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say, like I said, get rid of your dry dog food and cat food. It is not good for them. Yes, it will keep them alive, but it will shorten their lifespan. And with some of the research I've done, I found out that around the mid-1800s is when they started making dry cat food and dog food for animals. It is convenient. It's cheap. But it's like anything. Bad food is cheap. Um, the average lifespan before that time for a house cat was average of 30 years. Now the average lifespan of a cat is 15 and under. And cats even as young as seven years are getting heart problems, kidney problems, liver problems. So the things I'm about to tell you in this video are going to dramatically improve their lives, extend their lives, and depending on what you're doing, some may be too late. And that's why I'm saying you see the image of Luna in here. Um, it may be too late for her because we didn't know about this stuff. No vet would ever tell us. No stores would ever tell us because they're in the pr business of making money. Um, we only, through finding out that she first had the heart disease, then it developed into liver problems, then developed into diabetes, and now the pancreatitis, pancreatitis, which is what we found out today, um, about three weeks ago is when I really started researching alternatives, because I found out one of the things my vet said that made me curious about seeing what else there could be is she had a laceration due to a fight with one of our cats, and she needed stitches. And they said one of the best things that you can apply is Manuka honey. Now, this is only purchased in New Zealand for the purest of... It's called M-A-N-U-K-A. -A. Um, I will show an image of it, so let me get that because that's the one thing I forgot. Give me a second. Okay, so this is live, so I apologize. I'm going to put on the video camera now. And I'm going to show this one first, because this has, let me just put the video camera so you can see. Okay, so this is called Manuka Honey, which, by the way, is good for you as well. Now, you want to make sure it has the um, MCOs of 820 plus. I think the minimum is about 500, but please research that because I'm not 100% sure on it. But you could put this, this is also in Australia or New Zealand. It's got, see, most of the honey that you buy on in stores, like that, remember that little teddy bear with the honey? That's not real honey. It's man-made, which means what is beneficial in natural honey is not in there. If you have breathing problems, you can consume a teaspoon of this a day, and it will assist your breathing problems. It's got, um... Like if somebody takes allergy medications, you can take this instead. But the vets originally told us about a month ago when she got the cut, place this on the open wound and it will heal it like you've never seen anything heal it before. And then you put a Band-Aid over it so they don't lick it and we put one of those things around her so she doesn't, doesn't lick it. So when I heard about this stuff, I was like, well, what else can I find naturally? And that's when I discovered all the stuff about raw foods and supplements and things that can help. Now, the problem is with our cat Luna, she's already had these problems, so we may not be able to save her. We're doing everything in our power. She's in the hospital right now. She's going to be there for two days. As a matter of fact, because they said it's not an overnight hospital, I have to go back at 7.15 to pick her up which means the 6 o'clock original time, I, I just can't do. So I'm sure you guys can understand that. But this all started with this. Now, this is expensive. This little thing is going to cost you anywhere from, anywhere from $70 to $125. So this stuff is not cheap, but it's all natural. It not only will help your animals with wounds, if they have breathing problems, it will also help you with wounds and breathing problems. Research Manuka Honey, number one, okay? Now, another thing I'm going to ask is please share this video because this might be stuff that YouTube is going to silence. And um, 
I just want to say, anybody that does a super chat, I want to thank them and acknowledge them. So, uh, Probe One just sent an eighteen dollars super chat. So, thank you. And they said, "R.I.P. Lex, we love you. Um, best Pomeranian and part of our family. Fifteen and a half years. Um, Eighteen equals life in Hebrew. Thanks for looking out. You're welcome. So, rest in peace to Lex. So, this is going to help prevent these things, or at least." postpone it because some of us love animals now i've had people say just put her down put her to sleep you know what? she's not in pain we're not going to do that but this is the last chance for her so i want it to be that what she had to go through because whoever owned her before us totally mistreated her we've been trying so hard to help her but we didn't know for the first three and a half years of her life that dry food is incredibly bad for animals we didn't know about this just like i'm sure this is the first time you're hearing it and you can confirm this by asking vets now they won't tell you because they also sell stuff goes so even organic dry food is not good as a matter of fact some of the things i've learned i don't know if it's the same for cat food but dog food dry dog food they put a coating on the outside of the dry dog food that makes them want to eat it without that coating dogs won't touch it it's not natural food for them but like i said with humans we can eat ice cream and candy and you know potato chips and survive but we're going to have problems down the line so it reduces the chance of your animal living healthy and that's why they develop all these diseases and other problems so i want the fact that luna may not make it through this because they said that you know there's no guarantee that what they're about to do for the next two days is going to help but even if it does, it can become reoccurring. And at that point, there's not much you can do. Because with pancreatitis, um, she's it has a problem with insulin. And it ends up in, she's got an inflamed pancreas, which was the reason why she's no longer really eating. And it basically will lead to death. So if you catch it early enough, you can fix it. The problem is with her diabetes, the chance of it reoccurring is going to be high. So after that, there's not much more we can do. But if this information and what she's going through is the reason that caused me to do a lot of this research and it helps you guys, then it wasn't for nothing. And that's why I say sometimes in tragedy, good things can happen. So I'm going to show you a lot of products and I'm going to talk about a lot of different stuff. Um, even if you cannot... Um, do the GoFundMe, which I totally understand. Um, if you can share the link, it's in the description, and I also put it live. That's going to be just as helpful. Please don't apologize if you cannot do anything, because trust me, I understand. If it wasn't for my wife, I wouldn't have been able to do this, because it's going to cost us roughly about $1,200, not including the uh, medicines and other things that we're going to be getting. All right, so I have a lot of products. There is one product that I do not have that's on the way that I will talk about, but I'm going to first talk about food. Because I we have different types of cat food. These don't necessarily have to be organic. It's the ingredients you got to watch out for. I'm just showing a couple, but I want to show people the money that I've been spending so you could see. Now, um, I'm not recommending any um, products in particular. I'm not being paid by anybody to do this. I'm just showing what we're ordering. You make your own choices, do your own research. But the first thing I'm going to say is, like I said, get rid of any dry food. I know you might have spent money on it. Trust me, I got 10 pounds of dry food in containers that I don't know what to do with because I'm not feeding it to my cats after what I've learned. So trust me, I understand wasted money sucks, but so is the loss of your loved ones if you care about animals like I do. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're also going to stop buying store brand cat foods, the cheap stuff, because what you need to do is look at the first three to four ingredients and Gotham City Comics, um, thank you for the $2 Super Chat. I appreciate it. Um, thank you. And again, dollar amount doesn't matter. It's it's the thought. So thank you. It's just as much as appreciated as anybody. So I want anybody to know that. But I want you to look at your canned cat food. Look at the first three to four ingredients. Now, obviously, this is going to be too, um, too small to read. If you see ingredients, especially in the first three, because the first three are basically the main stuff that's in your canned cat food. This is a three ounce can. This is a 5.5 ounce can. This is a three ounce packet. 
if the first three ingredients don't say things like chicken or beef, turkey, salmon, whatever, and they say things like um, byproducts, things like that, it's not good for your cats. Cats need protein. So if you see things like potatoes or starch, that's all carbohydrates. Carbohydrates eventually affect a cat's liver. And um, I'm going to show you the first product in a second. But you want canned cat food, if you're going to buy canned cat food for the convenience, that the first three or four ingredients has something to do with the particular animal that's in here. You don't want byproducts. Byproducts basically means, or natural flavors and things could mean anything, but byproducts basically means, like for example, if they say chicken byproducts, that's basically beak, eyeballs, feet, all the stuff that humans cannot consume, grind it up into a paste and put into a can. So that is not healthy for an animal because it's like anything. You can, there are certain parts of an animal that are good for you, whether you believe in that or not. I'll leave that up to you. Like I said, my wife is a vegan. I'm a vegetarian. But we're talking straight about animals who are straight up carnivores. They don't eat every single part of the animal. They don't eat the eyes. They don't eat the feet. Now, what, they, what do they go for? They go for mostly the heart, the thighs, and then, of course, other things as, as they go. The reason being is, especially in cats, cats do need what is called taurine. And here's the first product I'm going to show you. Now, again, I'm not saying that you have to get this particular brand. This is the one that I have. Um, taurine is naturally created in dogs, but not naturally created in cats. This is the benefits of taurine are for their... Let me just get... It's for their um, setinal, um, feline retinal degeneration. It helps with the heart muscles, uh, preventing heart failure or other diseases. Um, it only is found in the protein from the animals. So if you're feeding them dry cat food or you're feeding them the cheap store brand cat foods, that does not usually include taurine unless it says it specifically. And since cats cannot naturally develop taurine, what happens is they start ending up give, developing heart problems and heart failure. So this is something that you can get. There's different sizes of stuff, but you want it to see where it says taurine. They also have it for dogs as well. So even though they can create their own, again, if you're feeding them dry dog food and the cheaper stuff, and trust me, we all do it, especially when we're on a budget, it's not going to be most of the time, nine out of every ten brands is not even going to have the taurine. You add about a half a teaspoon a day, that's going to fix that problem. How can you fix it otherwise? Well, first of all, if you get these kind of canned cat foods or whatever, um, it's going to have the taurine in them. So they're more expensive. Like these three ounce cans can range anywhere from 75 cents a can up to $5 a can. So it can get expensive. Same thing with these. You can always get them on sale. Now, one of the places I got this, and I'm only promoting it only for the fact that's the website I go to. I'm not getting paid. I'm not just trying to promote them. But if you go to Chewy.com, just think of Chew with the letter Y. They sell a lot of this stuff. And a lot of times you could see the deals of the day. Like a packet of 30 of these is, uh, no, a package of 12 of these is normally $14. They had it on sale. I don't know if they still have it on sale, but $7 and change and if you do there's a little trick that i'm going to tell you about that could save you money they have a um auto renew system where you'll get a five to ten percent savings you can cancel it even right after you pay for it unless of course you want them to keep sending it to you and you'll get a discount plus the fact if you join the cash back program that i've always promoted on this video and the link is also in the description Chewy.com will give you anywhere from between 1% and 6% cash back on your items. So if you spend, if you just sign up today and spend $25 or more, not only will you get whatever the cash back is, you'll get $10 additional. So trust me, like I say, that cash back program is more than just comic books. But another thing that you can do if you don't want to go this route is you could make your own raw food. Now, you have to be very careful with this because with raw food, 
you can end up with E. coli if you don't do it right. Raw meat cannot stay out for long periods of time. But what you can do is buy the raw meat, freeze it. You may, I'm going to tell you how you can do some of the recipes. Um, mix it together and put it in the freezer. Now, it usually takes, once you put it from the freezer and you want it into the refrigerator ready to serve, it usually takes between three and five days to defrost. So what I always do is I have one ready, and then when it's about three quarters done, I take another one from the freezer and put it out so it has time to defrost. But you can buy things in, in bulk. Now, you want basically chicken, because chicken is the best to do because it's the lowest in fat. And another thing I found out is if you feed your cats anything with fat, and again, I'm speaking more about cats than dogs because I own only cats, but a lot of this stuff will apply to other animals as well. That's why I say please make sure you do your own research in case there's some variations. It's basically going to be the same. But with cats, eating a lot of fat can end up affecting their pancreas and making it work harder. So you don't want an example, give your cat a piece of steak with the fat on it, throw it on the ground. First of all, any meat that's cooked, all the vitamins and nutrients are burned away. That's another thing they don't teach you about even human food. That's why they say the, the roar your food diet, the more benefits and nutrients you will get. Because if you take, for example, vegetables and stir fry them, the cooking actually burns away all the nutrients. So anything that was pretty much good about that food has go basically gone into the atmosphere, burned up. Um, so that's another thing to check even for yourself. So you want to feed your dogs and cats raw food. What I do is I get all the ingredients, put it in the freezer or in the refrigerator at the time when I buy it, cut up one bit at a time. So this way, not everything is out giving the chance of that to happen. Now you want a separate bowl, a separate fork, and a separate knife. And you want to clean them in between each part that you cut because you want to make sure nothing has a chance to start growing, which could affect the food. Now, that's not really harmful to your pets, but it can be harmful to you. But I've been doing this now for over a month. We haven't had any problems because you have to do it right. So make sure you, have, you buy yourself a fork and a spoon, a cutting knife and plates and a bowl, a mixing bowl that you're not going to use for anything else. And when you're done, instantly clean it. Get like an antibacterial type of um, dish soap and you'll be fine. Now, the first thing I start with is organic carrots. And yes, mixed in with this food, cats will eat vegetables. So I, I start with the, the carrots because obviously they're, it's not meat. So I cut up just one whole carrot, splice it up into little bits, and put that in the bowl. Okay, the next thing you want is the certain parts of the chicken. Now, the stronger the muscle, the more taurine is going to be in that particular food. So you want to stay away from things like the chicken breast because that's there's a reason why chicken breast is the cheapest. That's why when you go to McDonald's or Wendy's, Burger King, or any of the fast food restaurants, what they're serving you is chicken breast. It's, it's the least used muscle which means it doesn't have the taurine and other nutrients because it's not working hard. So the things that you want is the liver. The heart is the absolute best, chicken heart. And you can get that at a butcher store. Again, you know, if you're into animals and stuff, I understand that this is not easy to, to talk about for some. But again, your animals are meat eaters. And the other is the thigh. So thigh, liver, and um, heart are the absolute best ones to do. Now, if you buy it in bulk and you buy it when it's on sale, you can actually save money than buying even the store brand cat food because you can make it. I bought, there was on sale the chicken thighs. There's four of them in each package. I bought five packages of them about a month, month and a half ago. I still have two of the packages left. I just finished the little thing of liver. And I still have about half a bag of the hearts left. So this stuff will literally last you between two to three months, depending on what you buy. And if you buy it on sale, for example, you're going to save a lot of money. Now, of course, it is work because you have to make all this stuff. But again, if you make it all in one setting, get a bunch of the um, plastic little containers, put them in the freezer, 
you're going to save yourself a lot of money and you'll find out you'll actually save more money than buying the canned food or even the dry cheap food so like i said i start with the carrots um one carrot make sure it's organic that's not expensive especially you go to sam's club you could buy a big five pound bag for like three four dollars so it's not expensive then i cut up the um the chicken hearts you just cut in half you, they can eat them whole but just in case you don't have to worry about them choking any big sl slices just cut them in half believe it or not it may sound gross but they love actually drinking the blood because again if you've ever seen a lion or a tiger in in the wild they're covered in blood so that's another thing they get nutrients from then you cut up the liver you cut up every the the chicken the thighs mix it all together now some people use chicken bones also i'm going to show you something that's better safer and not only good for your animals but also good for you because the problem is if you grind up chicken bones um again if it's left out it could cause any kind of you know diseases that you do not want um if you don't cut it up completely you know bones can be sharp you can end up they could swallow it and damage themselves so i'm going to show you something better that's actually cheap will last forever and is not only good for your animals but is good for you now this is very important that you get food grade this is diatomaceous earth or stuff that if you've ever owned a fish tank you'd be familiar with diatom powder it filters out impurities now again i cannot stress enough it has to be food grade now i got this on ebay this is a 10 pound bag i believe it costs between 20 around 20 dollars. i could be wrong i don't have the exact but this is something that for yourself you have one teaspoon a day what i do is i add it to a bowl of cereal or if i make pasta i add it to the sauce or mix it in a gravy it has no taste but if you mix it up with something you never even know it's there so if you have a bowl of cereal in the morning or something like that all you need is one teaspoon of this for yourself it's going to purify your body now for animals they obviously don't need as much about a fourth of a teaspoon to an eighth of a teaspoon once per day in, mixed in their food is going to purify their body so this is something um again it has to be food grade so you want to make sure when you buy it now i also bought before i got this i was thinking let me buy a bigger one um i got this on ebay but you can get it anywhere but ebay was pretty cheap i also bought a 50 pound bag before i bought this one because i didn't realize because the picture made it look so small and when i got this i'm like oh my god look at the size of this and this is ten, only 10 pounds when i got the 50 pound bag oh my god it's gonna last for the rest of my life no knock on wood so this would be enough probably for your dog or cat's entire lifetime if, even if you don't use it for yourself or even if you do use it for yourself so you're spending about 25 dollars between 20 i think it's between 20 and 25 dollars for something that requires less than a fourth of a teaspoon for your animal a day this will probably last you 10 years so it's diatomaceous earth all right so that's one product another thing that's very good for you and your animals is organic coconut oil now somebody was mentioning and i just started researching this another product called c60 it's a carbon-based powder mixed with oil it's the letter c and the number six zero it has what's called fullerenes which medical science is not going to tell you anything about this stuff because they want you dependent on medicines for the rest of your life and getting sick enough to use their medications and you notice side effects of medications lead to other problems that's why she's my cat luna's developed all these other problems because one of the reasons for her pancreatitis is one of the medicines they give her which is called lasix and they say they need the lasix for her heart so unfortunately medicines and we know this if you've ever seen a commercial for any kind of medicine there's more side effects than there are cures for them so they love people to have all of their medicines which guarantee them money for the rest of your life and more and more needed medicines as you go so organic coconut oil you can actually use this for yourself and your animals 
You can use this as something as a replacement for butter. You can actually use this as toothpaste because believe it or not, fluoride is really bad for you. Please research that. You can use this as makeup remover. You can use this in soaps. Um, you can eat it by the teaspoon and it, it will help your cats. Now, the C60, I don't have yet. I'm getting that today. But um, most places will sell it to you with olive oil. Do not use all olive oil because your body will not ingest a lot of it because it's not water soluble. This is. What does that mean, water soluble? If it's something is not water soluble, you're basically going to excrete most of it out. And the reason for the oil with the with the C60 powder is it allows you to ingest it. So a lot of products out there with the C60, ha and it's, it's always grounding in good intention, but a lot of people, like I say in the comic book videos, do your own research. Olive oil is, because it's not water soluble, is not going to mostly have ingested into your system. You're basically going to pass it through, defeating the purpose. Now, a little bottle is going to cost you about $60. Um, but if you're going to get it, Make sure it's in coconut oil or get your own coconut oil. Again, with your cat or dog's food, uh, my cats love this by themselves. But you could put like a teaspoon to a quarter of a teaspoon, mix it in with their um, food, or just give it to them almost like a little treat. And they will eat this up. Again, research this for yourself. It's actually good for you as well. All right, another thing, and I'm going to have to put this back in the refrigerator before it goes bad. Uh, is called CBD oil. That's Charlie um, Brian Denver oil or hemp oil. Now, you want to make sure it's organic. You want the edible type. This is cold processed. This is considered organic superfood. Now, this is the product. I got it from Nutivia. This is about an $80, between $60 and $80 for this gallon but again, it's something you only need like a teaspoon. I've had this now for over a year and a half, and it's about half empty or half full, depending on if you're a pessimist or an optimist. This is another product you could put in your animal's food. It's a superfood. It helps purify the body. This is something that is all natural, has no side effects, and you want to make sure it's not, it doesn't have any negative side effects, and it's completely edible as long as you are getting the organic food grade. You want to make sure, you know, you get what you pay for. So give me a second. I got to put this back and I'll continue. Okay, so that's another product you can use for yourself. Research that CBD oil. Um... Again, make sure food grade organic. You're going to spend the money, but you're going to get a lot of benefits from it. Okay. Next thing that you can give for yourself and for you. I'm going to show two different things. For your animals, salmon oil filled with omega-3s and antioxidants. You only need about 10 to 12 drops a day in their food. A lot of cats naturally love the, the smell of fish. But if they don't really like it, you can mix it a couple of times a day with a few drops. For yourself, you can get salmon oil capsules. The reason you don't want fish oil and you want actual salmon oil is these have the least likely amount of mercury in them. That's why they say be careful with eating a lot of tuna fish. It sometimes can have high concentrations of mercury. And if you know anything about mercury poisoning, it's something you don't want. So salmon oil is the best way to go. Once this is opened, it has to be refrigerated. So this is a second bottle that I bought. Um, this is a 32-ounce bottle. It's going to cost you roughly about $30. But I'll tell you this much, knowing what I know now, you can buy these in stores for $10 to $20. You poke a hole in the capsule and put it in their food. It's the same thing. You'll save yourself a lot of money. And again, you can use this yourself. So salmon oil is full of omega-3s, it's full of antioxidants, and will absolutely help your animals stay more healthy. All right, if your cat or dog has liver or kidney problems, this is an item that you can get. 
liver and kidney support. This is by Dr. McCola, but of course you can get any. The key ingredient is right here, milk thistle. So if you can find out, it's T-H-I-S-T-L-E. That is an ingredient that's very good for support of liver and kidney. Now, obviously, I wish I knew this before we found out all these problems. So if you use it before, it's basically prevention. Um, something like this will be about 15 to $20. More expensive ones can go as high as $100. So I bought about four or five of these. You only need a literal, I'll show you. It comes with a little cup. And you only need a half a cup. See how small that is? So a half a cup a day to add into their food and it will prevent. If your cat or dog has heart problems, here's two different kind of drops. They range from 15 to, well, about 18 to about $35 for these bottles. These are two ounce bottles. This one's called Heart Health. This one is called Young at Heart. This is from Pet Wellbeings. And this is Animal Essentials. Again, I'm not trying to promote any particular products. You need about 10 drops in a cat. A little bit more for bigger animals. Again, just do your own research with that. But this has all natural, healthy ingredients that can help a cat or an animal from your um, from heart problems not for human consumption um, another product for heart I just got this recently this is NHV healthy heart this one has to be refrigerated once it is um, has been opened this has a lot more ingredients to it it's a little bit more expensive but it's got a lot of good herbs in it that will um, absolutely help your animal with their heart problems for the liver, this is a key one. This is NHV Tripsy. Again, has things like milk thistle and other major ingredients that will help your animals naturally. Again, 10 to 15 drops. Now, obviously, you don't have to do all this stuff all day, every day. You can skip days or just do a little bit because something's better than nothing. All right. Other benefit beneficial things for your animals this is kelp help this is a supplement powder it's got omegas it's got vitamins it's another thing that you could put only a half a teaspoon in their food now obviously it depends on the size of the animal so of course dogs it's going to be a little bit larger um you could buy this i also bought it in a one pound size basically the higher it, the bigger it is the cheaper it's going to be overall i didn't know that at the time i bought this one but i also bought a one pound one so uh, this is go both both for dogs and cats. It has essential vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. So especially if your animals have been fed dry food and the cheap canned food, this is going to put some nutrients back in them. So the idea is to kind of restore them. This is really going to help with people with kittens and puppies because obviously you get them younger, there's going to be less chance of them having these problems or at least... Instead of them having it at 10, 12, 13 years old, maybe they'll get it 19, 20, 21. You can extend the life of your animals. The C60, they say in lab rats, their lifespan increased between 30 and 100%. That's lab rats, so keep that in mind. But obviously, medicine, you know, governments anywhere out the, out the world are not going to tell you the stuff that's really good for you because they can't profit off of it. Keep that in mind. All right, another one, especially for her problems with the pancreas and um, other benefits. This is probiotics with natural enzymes. This, you only need a quarter of a teaspoon. My cat, Oregon, actually, when I took this out, actually started licking the powder. And Herbert says, I wish I knew this before. Uh, before, trust me, I, I feel you on this. But that's what I'm saying is, um, since my cat Luna is now going to be in the hospital for the next two days, and this is basically the end of the road if we can't help her with this because the pancreatitis is fatal, if I would have known years ago, we would have, could have prevented this. But vets don't tell you. They just give you medicines. Now, of course, drowning in good intentions, but a lot of vets, if you look on YouTube, there are vets that do YouTube channels that actually quit the business because they were tired of just promoting medicines. 
And they find, like with us in humans, there are natural forms that actually are better for us. They're not as tasty, obviously, because, you know, an ice cream is going to be a lot better than a banana. But you can actually take a banana, just take an organic banana, put it in the freezer, mix it up in a blender or a smoothie machine, and you have natural tasting ice cream, believe it or not. But this is uh, great for pets with digestive stomach problems, and it's, it helps balance their GI uh, tract. So if they have liver problems, if they have stomach problems or the pancreas, um, the natural enzymes are absolutely going to help. It, again, it depends on what stage you're at. Um, some it may be too late, but... Again, if you share this video, and um, Jerry P, you did a uh, super chat. Thank you for that. He says, thanks for this, Chris. Uh, won't get this anywhere else. You're right about that. You won't. And YouTube, because they're good at silencing things that go against an agenda, they're probably going to silence this video. I wouldn't be surprised if they demonetize it, but that's not going to keep me from keeping this video up. But what I need you to do is post this on your social networks share this video i am again going to post the link to the gofundme page if anybody wants to contribute that's awesome if you can't don't worry even if you share the link it's going to help um trust me i wish i knew this earlier but i'm going to show people that sometimes tragedies can turn into something beautiful so it's probably too late to save luna we're basically postponing the inevitable at this point but I would have never gotten any of this information if it wasn't for her illness. So I think of it as God's way of sending a sacrifice to help others. So um, I don't want others to ever have to go through this. So that means even if she passes away, even if it doesn't work, even if we have to end up ultimately putting her down so she doesn't suffer, if what she did was sacrifice her life to help others then how can you say it's a bad thing? It's a bad thing for her. It's a bad thing for us. But it, if it helps others, if only one person gets benefits from this and it prevents their animals from having this, um, then it was worth it. And Leo says it's never too late. Um, with her heart failure, with her kidney failures, with her diabetes, and now with pancreatics, um, it's basically the end of the line. We're basically doing this knowing that it can recur again. It may not help her, but we're doing everything in our power. So basically, if she passes away from this, we can at least say we did everything in our power to help her. I wish we knew all this stuff months ago, let alone years ago. I would have totally changed things. We have two other cats. They don't, knock on wood, have these problems. But we're given this stuff now as prevention. One of them is about nine years old. One is about seven years old. But that's still seven to nine years of giving food that we thought was good for them. Ultimately, who knows what damage that could have caused. So if you have a kitten or a puppy or look into other animals as well, this stuff could save their lives, extend it, or prevent things from ever happening. So don't necessarily think that this stuff is only for people that have animals that are already in pain. This stuff should be given to your kittens and puppies to prevent these things from ever happening. So the last thing I'm going to show is if you have any cats or dogs, this is obviously specifically for cats. Uh, lysine for feline AIDS. We were told this um, Oregon as a kitten had feline AIDS. Now a lot of times that could be a false report in kittens. We don't know, but... We found out about this, but there's also other things that this can help with. With um, If you ever see like that little brown spot in an animal's eyes. Now, I don't know if this is good for dogs because this, as you can see, is for cats only. So I'm not sure about that. So please make sure you do research before you get anything. But check what Lysine does and if it's something that's beneficial for you. This is a one-pound container. This costs about $50 or $60, but you only need one teaspoon a day. So this will last for a very long time. So that is it. Obviously, this is a long video, but I find that this is going to help people. Yes, this is a comic book channel. So some of you that are watching this may be watching it from somewhere else and be like, why does a comic book channel have this? Well, I have cats. 
I have these problems. I've communicated with my subscribers. They've been nothing but positive and beneficial. I asked if you guys wanted this. Many of you said yes. So again, even if you're somebody that hates me, and you could see three or four thumbs down from the video I did yesterday, some people just want to be mean, but I don't care, because even they have animals, and I care more about their animals than actually the person that's doing the negativity. So this is going to help anybody. Yes, it could be a little expensive, but a lot of this stuff is prevention. Just the one hospital visit that we're doing right now, not going to include any medicines, not going to include any other further treatments or foods or anything. Just the two-day visit is costing my wife about $1,200. That's just for the one time, the two-day visit, for the one time, not including all the other hospital bills that we've had already and the medications that we've had. You could save yourself literally thousands of dollars on medical bills, but if anything, you could relieve yourself of heartbreak because many of you are cat, cat, cat or dog or animal lovers and you view them as family. So you can extend their lives. So instead of them maybe dying at 10, 11, 12, 15, maybe they'll live until 20 or maybe we get them back to the days of 30. Because of all these decades of this processed food that's not really healthy for them, it's lowering the lifespan of the animals to where they're getting sicker and sicker at younger and younger ages. The stuff that I showed in here can sometimes cure it if you catch it early enough and sometimes prevent it completely. Some of you may be in my position where it's already too late. But if anything, you can ease their pain. You may extend their life a little bit. You may cause the problem to reduce. So it really depends on the current situation of your animal. This may not help everyone. But like I said, if it helps at least one, then to me this was worth it. And that means if Luna dies, and I'm hoping it doesn't happen, even if she does, I know that good is coming out of this. And to me that is the ultimate in love, is sacrifice. So if you can share this video, it will help. Because there's not going to be a lot of people that are going to watch this video. Right now there's 13 people watching. Normally I have between 50 and 100. So I understand that this is a comic book channel. People want comic books. Obviously this is not going to become an animal channel. This is the only time I'm doing this video. I'll probably upload this on my other channel as well. But I need you to help share it. To help other people. Maybe somebody in your family. Maybe somebody that's your friend. Somebody you co-work with. If you could post the link on your social networks, sit down with a loved one, make them watch the whole thing, write things down, watch it a few times. If you have questions, I'll be more than happy to help you. But like I said, some of the stuff I showed is actually even beneficial to you and your family. And you could prevent illnesses for you and your family and loved ones. So this is stuff you're not going to hear in school. You're not going to hear it on the news. You're not going to hear it from any government program. You're not going to hear it from any vet or any hospital. They make money off of your ignorance and our ignorance. We trust these people. And unfortunately, they've taken advantage of that. Now, unfortunately, once you know, it is now up to us to do our own due diligence and do our own research. So like I said, I didn't get into major things about this because I didn't want this a five-hour video. So a lot of this stuff, I gave just enough basics for you to be able to research it yourself. So I encourage you to do that. Um, do you have any other platforms or channels that talk about this stuff? Um, not this stuff specifically, but a lot of stuff in general. My other channel is called Barnon11970. I haven't made that many videos recently because I was getting majorly attacked on that because I speak a lot of truth that people call conspiracy theories. Now, I'm not talking aliens or flat earth or anything like that, but I'm talking about ways to think your life in a different way and, and you know, other things like that. So um, YouTube silences this stuff. Why? I'll leave that up to you to decide. But you're not going to learn most of this stuff but trust me, go to a vet, ask them about Manuka honey. Some will actually tell you about it because that's where I learned this from and that's the beginning of what started this journey. Ask them about raw food. They'll tell you. If you have a diabetic animal, they'll tell you. Put them on a raw food diet if you can. They don't tell you this beforehand. It could have saved them from ever having these problems. 
and I'm I'm very upset with the industry in a whole because they're more they're more focused on money than actual health. And that's why whether you like any president, they always talk about in government, in any government, they talk about health care, but they don't talk about prevention. They focus on, well, you're sick, so here's a way to get medicine that's going to cause side effects that could kill you, that is expensive. They never talk about, here's what you can do to prevent you ever needing that stuff. Like, prime example, I almost died from walking pneumonia six times in my life. One of the biggest things that I used to do was drink lots of milk. No hospital ever said you shouldn't drink it. No TV program ever really wrote about it. No doctor, no YouTube, well, not YouTube, because obviously as a kid they, they didn't have that, but no politician, no school will tell you about that. Drinking actual milk actually is very thick and will cling to your lungs. So yes, is it good to have an inhaler just in case I have an asthma attack and I breathe it in and not die? Yeah, but not drinking dairy and milk actually reduces the chance of the breathing problem. So it's nice to have the medication, but they don't talk about the stuff that can prevent you from ever needing it. This stuff that I'm showing, all this stuff that I put in this video is not only good for your animals, like stuff like this is good for you. It is stuff that's natural and it can prevent disease. So as much as people want to talk about health care, how about prevention? They don't talk about that. They'll happily sell you beer. They'll happily sell you junk food. They'll happily tell you to live your life any way you want. Because then you'll get sick and you'll need medicines. And who supplies that? The very people that tell you about all these kind of foods that you can eat in a health pyramid. Research people. Trust me. And that's why a lot of this stuff is actually never going to be told and taught. And you have to do your own research. But like they say, and this means more than just a religious thing, seek and you shall find. So hopefully this will help you. Please, please share it. If you cannot do the GoFundMe, you, maybe you might be interested in also my comic book mystery boxes. So this way you're actually getting something for what you're doing. That's also going to help contribute. Or even like I said, even if you just share this video, it can help somebody else. So that's why I'm giving this information. I don't expect anybody to have to donate anything if they cannot. Trust me, this is not what this is about. This is about having somebody else not have to go through what we're experiencing right now. And especially if you have children who grew up with a cat or a dog or whatever animal, you want them to have that love for as long as they can. And if you can extend the life even an extra year, and, and an extra year of pain-free problems or preventing other things from happening, because like I said, the, the Lasix that the vets have given us to help her heart from um, filling her lungs with fluid is one of the reasons that caused her problems now in her pancreas. Natural foods and natural vitamins can prevent those things. Some of us, it may be too late, but not for everybody. So thank you for listening. I hope this really helped. Your um, thumbs up will support this. Your sharing will support. And anybody that did the Super Chats, thank you very much. Anybody that um, can do the... Um, the GoFundMe or they want to be one of my Patreon members, you can join that as well. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, please ask them. I'll do my best to answer them. Remember, I'm not a vet. I'm not an expert on all this. I just recently learned this about a month, month and a half ago. So I'm still new to this myself. But get rid of your dry cat food, your dry dog food. I know it sucks to throw away things. Maybe donate it to a charity or something. The stuff is not good. Research it for yourself and find out. Don't just take my word for it and spread this information. So hopefully this helps. Um, in two days, I'll give you an update about Luna. Um, as the problem, We have to pick her up again. She's going to be in the hospital all day today. i got to pick her up at quarter after 7. We'll bring her back tomorrow, and we're going to hope for the best. All I know is that even if she doesn't survive this, because pancreatic, uh, the pancreatitis is basically can be fatal, um, and can reoccur. 
even if that happens, at least I know we did everything in our power. We didn't just conveniently say, well, it's easier to just put her to sleep. She's not in pain. And if it gets to that point, we will do the right thing. But we're trying to avoid that because if it's early enough and we can fix this, she could go on to live a happy life. And we're going to try our best to do that. And trust me, we're not. this financially drained us to the point where we still have to move and we have to figure out what we're going to do with that. So I want to av avoid other people from having to experience this. So yes, buying these better canned foods or buying the raw food can be expensive. But just imagine all the hospital bills you can prevent and all the pain that you will go through for a loved one. So some of this stuff, like I said, will help you, will help your kids. But please make sure you research everything before you do anything. Knowledge is power. And shame on governments and media and the medical industry for caring more about cures than actual preventions. It's a money-making machine. And it's unfortunate, but that's what it is. Whether you believe in it or not, whether that's the first time you're hearing it, the more you research, the more you realize. So I'm rambling at this point. Thank you for listening. I hope this was informative. If you are one of my power viewers that watch this to, from beginning to end, please mention in the comments section of your power viewer status and that you watch the whole thing. And to confirm that, obviously, if you're watching now, you can see this. But if you watch from beginning to end, this is a little container of super glue. Put, a, that, that, put that in the comments section. So thanks for watching, guys and girls. I hope this helps. Thank you for your support in any way, even if it's prayers, comments, or anything. So thank you very much. Uh, Juvenile says, is weed bad for me? Um, I cannot answer that because I don't know your health background. One thing I can tell you about weed is most people, you know, there is the thing called medical marijuana. That's happened for years. Um, smoking weed is the equivalent of using a gun as a back, a back scratcher. You can use a gun as a back scratcher, but it's not its primary function. If you want to learn about the absolute greatest benefits from cannabis, look into the cannabis oil. That's the CBT oil that I showed you about, but it doesn't have the THC, which is the thing that gets you high. But if you actually research um, extracting the oil from a cannabis plant, you'd be amazed at some of the things that it could potentially quote-unquote cure. And that's why if you ever look at any medication, whether it's for your animals or for yourself, you will notice one same thing on every item. None of them say cure, they say treat. Because cure means you fix the problem. Treat means you have a lifelong consumer customer. So they don't want to cure anything, they want to treat everything. You cannot have a business without repeat business. And unfortunately, the medical industry, the food industry, and many other industries care more about the dollar than your bottom line health. The information is out there if you're willing to get it. Videos like this are going to help you, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. Do your own research. If you want to spend your life believing everything you're told, not doing your research and basing things on feelings, peer pressure, and other things, hey, that's your life to live. You'll pay for that sometime down the line. If you want to start learning that things are not always as they seem and people unfortunately are motivated by money, when it comes to corporations, when it comes to governments, when it comes to media and information, and even, yes, your schools, because schools teach you to face front, be quiet, raise your hand, learn what we tell you is true, do not question authority, get a job, earn money, which is bank debt notes, and become a slave for the rest of your life just not the kind with chains around your arms. My other channel talks a lot more about that, so if you're interested, it's Barn on 11970. It's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be like, I don't believe this. There's a reason why there's the word lie and the word belief. This video, I'm sure, will be demonetized, but I will never take it down. Your sharing will help. I hope this helps. Please let me know if it does. Thank you for listening, and don't forget, it's not you, it's not I. It's We Love Animals. Thanks for taking the time to listen, and good luck. Love you all.